This is Station Commander Eamon. Welcome to your shift. It's gonna be a busy one. Now let's make a few credits for the Tau Ceti Corpo. Hey there. Today, we're talking about my next game project, Merchants of the Stars. This game is a spiritual successor to one of my favorite iOS games, Harbor Master. I miss Harbor Master since, sadly, it isn't on the App Store anymore. The core mechanic in Harbor Master is tapping and dragging to create paths for ships. You want to get them to docks and avoid crashes with one another. Once ships are finished unloading, you tap and drag them again to make them leave the map. If they collide, you lose. It's a fun concept, but there are weirdly few similar games. The closest one I can find is Planes Control. This is a good game, but doesn't quite capture the magic of Harbor Master for me. If you know of any other games like this, let me know. I've been looking for a game project and something similar to Harbor Master seems like a good fit. It has a reasonably small scope, and it feels like the core tap and drag mechanics are manageable with my experience. Plus, the minimal art demands of a top-down 2D game match my minimal artistic skills. Plus, I think this game has an audience. It seems like it's not just me that misses Harbor Master. Games are notoriously hard to complete. I've published one game before, Toggle, a word game written in Flutter so I'm pretty confident I can complete another one. With this in mind, I'm creating Merchants of the Stars, a space cargo game inspired by Harbor Master. This video is its first devlog. Let's talk tools. I started the game in Unity, but well... The Unity part is too sad to discuss much. Since I no longer trusted Unity and hadn't made it too far, I decided to rewrite what I had so far in Godot. I'd heard good things about Godot, and it seemed like a logical choice. Despite knowing c -sharp better, I decided to use GDScript in Godot, since it currently has better support for mobile. Let's talk about the progress so far. The most basic element of the game is the tap and drag mechanic. But to have that, we first need something to tap and drag. I grabbed some nice top-down spaceship game art. I may change it later, but it's good for now. Then. I figured out how to detect when the player taps on a ship. After this, the subsequent drag needs to create a path for that ship to follow. Basically, as long as the player's finger is touching the screen, an input event will fire on every frame. We take the location of this event and add it to a list of waypoints that form the path the ship will follow. I then use Godot's Line 2D to draw the path on the screen. This is technically just a bunch of lines, but since there are so many waypoints, this ends up creating a smooth curve. Finally, for the ship's main mechanics, I made it move towards the next waypoint in the path. Once it reaches the nearest one, I remove it from the path and it moves to the next. If the ship runs out of waypoints, it continues going the direction it was already going. There are a few more details I'm skipping, but all in all, this causes the ship to follow a visible path drawn by the user. Next. I implemented a system to store different types of cargo on the ship. Initially, I decided to go with two types of cargo, red and blue. For visual clarity, I implemented these as red and blue squares for now. There is a nice spot on the side of the ship sprite to tuck these into. On spawn, I randomly decide how many and what types of cargo each ship carries. To make the ship look a little better, I slap a particle emitter on the ship's engine. With the right tweaks, this looks pretty decent. The next most important element is the dock. The easiest type of dock I could think of was a space station. I found some top-down space structure art and constructed a space station with some protruding docks. Each dock will only accept one type of cargo, either red or blue, so I added an indicator to show the color. Finally, I had to add the interaction of the ship and the dock. This is a fairly complicated process controlled by a state machine. A ship is normally in a flying state, once it touches a dock, it enters a docking state, where the dock sucks it in and reorients it. Then, it enters a docked state, where a timer counts down until each cargo is unloaded. After that, it enters an undocking state, where it is launched. And then, it is finally transitioned back into the flying state once it has cleared the dock. For fun, I decided to make the space station slowly rotate. This forces the player to anticipate where it'll be when the ship actually reaches the end of its path. It'll require some playtesting to see if this is actually fun or just annoying. I'm not really sure yet. 
At this point, only a little more work was needed to make the game playable. First, I needed to spawn in ships at regular intervals. I then added an indicator to show where a new ship will spawn in, to avoid nasty surprises. Then I implemented how ships behave when they reach the edge of the play area. Ships bounce if they still have cargo, but are allowed to leave and despawn once they are empty. With these changes, the game is playable, though there is still a lot more to do. It still doesn't look that much like space, so let's slap on a nice space background. But it's not that interesting yet since there's no real danger. When ships collide with each other or the station, something bad has to happen. I found a pixel art explosion and play that when ships collide. I also spent far too much time implementing a system to split the ship into jagged quarters to create debris. To give the explosion some more oomph, I added an explosion sound effect. Overall, I think the explosion is pretty good. It's almost too satisfying, since I keep running ships into each other just to hear the boom. Next, I implemented a UI to surround the play area. This is important because on mobile especially, problems can occur if the player taps or drags too close to the edge of the screen. They must be restricted to a specific safe area. This also gives a nice area to put an icon to return to the menu, which meant I had to uh, implement a menu. For now, I just put some text on top of the space background. It looks okay. At this point, the game looked and felt decent, but was missing a lot of atmosphere. I spent some time to write three atmospheric music tracks. I've written a lot of music before, but had to adopt a dramatically different style for this. Everything had to be quite slow and not too interesting in order to create the looming space doom effect that I wanted. You can listen to the three tracks I created on my SoundCloud. I think they turned out quite well. The final cherry on top was another sound addition that I think turned out really well. I've always loved the repetitive voice lines in games like StarCraft. I thought it would be cool for the pilots of the ships to talk to you. So I synthesized several pieces of dialogue with Eleven Labs. New destination. I added some radio static and overall I think the effect is quite good. New destination. For me, these lines invoke a lot of nostalgia for old RTS games. Need something? Order, sir. I also added an introductory line for the station commander to set up some atmosphere. This is station commander Eamon. Welcome to your shift. It's gonna be a busy one. Now let's make a few credits for the Tau Seti Corpo. Need something? Destination? And that's the progress on the game so far. You can play it on itch.io right now by following the link below. I'd love to hear what you think. Keep in mind, it's just a prototype. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next devlog. Subscribe if you'd like to see more.